Hello, this is Torio, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 Common Sense as Poland. We have expanded quite nicely, taken five provinces from the Teutonic Order, and two over here also vassalized Livonian Order and Novgorod, and still no coalition yet. Muscovy is likely to join, because they hate us anyway. We might want to attack them, but it's not, um, it's not wise to do it now. Because we will attack them to feed Novgorod, and our subjects have gotten some stupid ideas about how they're stronger than us and will rebel. So what we actually need to do is annex Mazovia. After that is done, after this is done, we can actually continue on with expanding. Because this will increase our strength relative to our vassals, then we can feed Novgorod safely. So we have started the annexation process. It will take a long, long time. Actually, it will take seven years. That's a lot. Well, we can start the war in a few years. For now, we need to siege that back and let our manpower recover at least a bit. Mm, Austria. Oh, did Denmark get an heir? It did. Right. And they want Usul. I could give it to them, I suppose. But then they would give they would want more. Let's just keep our relations high by improving relations. We need to improve relations with Novgorod as well, because they are quite rebellious. Right, is there anything else we should be paying attention to at the moment? Missions. Conquer Stolp. Where is Stolp? Where is it? Maybe it's in Hungary? No? And we've caught Gdańsk now. This is going to bring us a lot, and I do mean a lot, of military power. Um, sorry, of trade power. I would like to build this marketplace here, but we don't have enough technology, and I don't want another fort. Those forts are costing us a lot of money. Since we are not at war, I will actually mothball all the forts. That will change our income quite a bit. Um, fort maintenance is costing us three ducats. So if we multiple all of them, it will be costing us one and a half. And as we are not at war, I think we can safely do that. Well, maybe not this one. No, the unrest has gone down since I mm, increased autonomy here. Yeah, we can be quite liberal with increasing autonomy as Poland, because our government reduces it even if we are at war. Right. Let's wait a bit, recover some manpower, and then strike against Muscovy. We need to improve relations with our allies a little bit, but we don't have any free diplomats at the moment. Let's just bring Novgorod's mm, liberty desire under 50%, then we can send... Oh, you know what? We could actually... Mm, they will not be called into wars, no. We could actually try improving our relations with Novgorod through the subject interactions, which are a new thing. Placate run local rulers for 20 prestige, no. Enable embargo, no. Um, place it relative on place relative on throne. Could be useful, but what that? Oh, that would give us the same dynasty, of course. Enforce religion. Um, are they the same religion? The same religion? Can have at most fifty percent liberty desire. Okay. Mm, we don't want to do any of those things. We can spare the prestige. We could actually siphon income from Lithuania, but uh, yeah, that would damage our relations. We don't want that. Okay, let's just return to generic interactions. Improve the, um, the relations with Novgorod a bit. And they no longer have liberty desire. They're still rebellious, or rather disloyal. I will stop the relations improvement now and focus on our allies a little bit, because we do want to keep them as allies. And we have resieged. We have resieged mm, the province taken over by rebels. So now I will actually drop all the mercenaries because we don't need them. We can accumulate a bit of money for that, and I will drop the army maintenance. Yeah. Oh, and the liberty desire has increased again. That's a pity. An advisor has died. Which one was that? Wait a minute. Okay, so it was an available advisor. Huh. 
Oh, we could take the inflation guy. We do have some inflation. Why do we have inflation? Well, do we want more tax income or do we want reduced inflation? Mm, let's just stick with the tax income for now. Our inflation is very low. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, monopoly company formed. Do we want more diplo power or straight up money? Let's get power. And I'll actually use this diplomat to improve relations a bit more because they got their, their liberty desire back. So let's deal with that. Wait a minute. Brandenburg is fighting for Morania. I don't want to go to war. I do want to conquer Pomerania, but not at this point. We're fighting Brandenburg, Bavaria and Verden, and Brandenburg is fighting Pomerania and Anhalt. Well, that's quite easy. Mm. Anhalt and East Frisia. You know what, I will actually accept. I don't want Brandenburg to take any provinces from them, though. So what I'll do is get the maintenance back get the mercenaries back, at least some of them, and siege those provinces for ourselves, but not take anything. I just don't want Brandenburg to have them. That would make them a stronger ally, but I want them for myself later on. Let's get four mercenary regiments, that should be sufficient. No, no, they're coming. Let's stay here until we get the mercenaries and renewed morale. And I should probably unmovable this fort over here. Where's the button? Here. I don't think any others are threatened. Okay, you guys converge here. Right. Let's bring them all to proper provinces. So that they can do some sieging. Because we don't want Brandenburg to take the provinces for themselves. Yeah, let's help. Wait a minute. You're in the wrong province. No, you are in the right province. Okay, perfect. You can take Anhalt if you want. I won't mind. But the coastal stuff is mine. I mean, later on, of course. Okay. How are our relations? They are loyal now, but uh, Liberty Desire is just below 50%. Both for Novgorod and Devonian Order. Okay, occupied some more provinces. Yeah, let's just wait. Oops. They actually took it for themselves. Well, it's not a trade thing. Mm, I could put my border over here on the Oder River, or Odra if you prefer, because this is the natural border of Poland. You can have this province if you need that. But I'm not giving you Szczecin, or rather Stettin, as it is called now, before we have taken it. Right, uh, what happened recently? Something happened. Not that. Mm, subjects are okay. Oh, Lithuania got some liberty desire, really. We need to improve our relations with them. Ukraine's an army, solidified papal relations. Yeah, we don't have points for that at the moment. We can build castles, we don't want to. Okay, I think we're fine for now. We don't want to drop any alliances. Actually, we would like to reinforce our alliance with Denmark. Because they're doing pretty well on Sweden. But what is your prestige? It's still low. I think you will lose the unions. That's why I'm not accepting a royal marriage with you. Oh, did I accept the royal marriage? I did accept. Oh, crap. I forgot. Right. Pomerania did a stupid thing. They're going to pay for it. I think that's enough of relation improvement with Novgorod. Sorry, with Livonian order. Now it's time to improve with Novgorod. And then with Denmark. And you guys can actually go home. I forgot you, you were there. Mm, how is our revolt risk? Gdańsk, our beautiful trade province, is the only province that actually has revolt risk, so we're going to keep our armies there when they're free. They are not free at the moment, of course. Okay, this is a minor war we don't really have to care about. 
Moscovy, are you still fighting somebody? No. And you are allied with Bohemia. If a coalition starts, we should immediately attack Muscovy. I'm just curious, who would join us? Would Denmark join us? Because the Swedish armies could help us a bit. Actually, a lot. Okay, if I declare war on you. Nobody would join. Denmark likes them. Hungary has the wrong attitude. And Brandenburg isn't that in, in another war. Well... Denmark is the most important to us at the moment. Do they hate Bohemia as, um, as well? No, they don't. But Hungary is pretty powerful as well. I think they could balance out with Bohemia, and Lithuania and our vassals could take over Muscovy. Bohemia, do you have any allies? Teutonic Order, Anhalt, Saxony and Muscovy. So if we fight Teutonic Order again, we will have to fight Bohemia as well. Do they have any other allies? Mm, Saxony and Lundberg. How long is our truce? 68. Yeah, we'll still have some time. We can't let them join the coalition. And I do intend to fight Muscovy before they can become any stronger. Livonian Order and Novograd again have liberty desire. Damn it. Why is it so high? And we were supposed to improve relations with Lithuania. Let's actually start with that. Those subject interactions require a lot of diplomat juggling. Okay, this is now ours. You can go home. Oh, Pomerania will be forced to give Brandenburg 10% of their income. Okay, they didn't take any provinces. That's actually good. I like that. We can reduce the maintenance, but I will keep the mercenaries this time, just for a while. Bosnia and East Frisia. Yeah. Improving relations with Lithuania because they are surprisingly low. And rebels. The rebels are in Danzig, yeah. They're not that... Uh, they're not that advanced yet. We don't have to worry. Military access, yes, sure, you can all have military access. Did I refuse it to Brandenburg? No, I think I refused it to Brandenburg. I didn't want to, sorry. I'll give it back to you. Mm, Lithuania is on low relations with us, but they are still loyal. Let's recall the diplomat. Temporarily send them to the Livonian order. Just keep juggling to keep the... Liberty desire low. Philosopher has died. Alright, who can we employ instead? Oh, we can switch the tax to prestige. I think mm, prestige could actually be pretty beneficial. Because it improves relations and gives us legitimacy. Although money is good as well. Now, let's switch and get some prestige. We want good relations with everybody. Okay, that will do. The rebels are not a problem yet. The war exhaustion will tick down. Once it's down, we'll probably declare war on Muscovy. When our allies have recovered properly. Comet. Crap. Right, we can actually buy it back. So we will. Treasurer. Yeah, those alerts could be useful, but uh, we were not actually using the guy. Although, I think I'll keep them so that we can check if uh, whatever we want is available at the moment. Are we happy with the advisors we have? I could go for reduced um, revolt risk, but we only have some in Danzig or Gdańsk. It's not Gdańsk. Uh, we only have some in Gdańsk, so it's not crucial. Better relations over time is what I want. Yeah. Eight out of four diplomatic relations. That's quite a lot, but we need all of them. Well, we don't really need Brandenburg, but... Uh, it's good to not have them against us. 
If we take Neumark, that will change. But I'm thinking of just taking this land and letting the Teutonic Order have Neumark. They will get taken over. We don't care. Right. How's the Liberty Desire? Still high. Once we have annexed uh, Mazovia, the relations will plummet because of vassal annexation, but the Liberty Desire should actually go down because of uh, the relative power. Why, why is it going up? Are you building up troops or something? Better diplomatic technology. Oh, that's it. We don't have proper diplomatic technology. The Nishnava Privileges con Conventiones Particulares. Yeah, this is the beginning of a horrible chain of events for Poland. We can accept that for a wonderful stability cost modifier, but yeah, that's actually bad in the long run. Where do you revolt? In Kalish. Let's improve the maintenance. Send our army there. Get some mercenaries quickly. And get rid of the nobles. Now, what's the cooldown until it automatically accept? I, accepts? I think it's three months. Wait a minute. Denmark wants us to come to, uh, to fight... Mm, what is the war? Denmark, what is that? Danish conquest of Ostfriesland. Hmm. Are you fighting Austria as well? No, because East Frisia is not a part, uh, not a member of the Empire. Okay, I will actually accept that because I don't want to lose the prestige. And I was hoping for <laughs> for the war exhaustion reduction. Okay, you guys get here. A new pope. We don't really care. Everybody attached to me. Let's wait until the month ticks. Okay. The morale has increased, has it? Yeah. And we actually have to accept that now, because otherwise it will trigger. Even if we lose this battle, we will deal with the rebels, at least in a bit. Oh, they have, they have better morale and they have our discipline and our tactics. We will probably lose that, unless uh, Mazovia comes to help us. They might. I don't think they will get in time. Oh, they did get there in time. Perfect. Okay, we dealt with the bloody nobles. Mm, rebel uprising in Danzig. Okay, I'll actually station the troops there. I do not want to participate in this war actively. Improve our prestige. That will give us free stability, really. National epic. Yearly prestige plus one. What is our prestige now? Yeah, I will actually accept that. Because we are getting some more prestige. Now, we don't need that many... Mm, are we fighting Pomerania again? Really? Well, I wouldn't want Denmark to take those lands. Maybe we should siege them for ourselves again. No longer attached to me. Because we want, we want this land, but uh, we're not ready to get a lot of aggressive expansion in DHRE. We need to wait for the Teutonic thing to tick down a bit. Also, we want to take them over which will give us a bit more aggressive expansion. Wait, you need to stay here, detach a siege, and go on. Another one, and go here. Just so Denmark... Oh, Denmark accepted the peace with Pomerania. Cool. So we no longer need to get involved. You just go home. Denmark will do it on their own. And mothball all the forts, because we need the cash. Oh, also, we have too many generals. You can go. Mm, how's the air? Yeah, that's the 444, but I think he'll die before our king dies, because our king is quite young. Right, should we disband the mercenaries or not? Well, they are helping to keep our subjects in check a little bit. The Livonian order is almost at 100% uh, relations. How's Denmark? Denmark's, Denmark likes us, Hungary likes us. Alright. Yeah, we lost an advisor. Who is going to be replaced by National Manpower Modifier? Because we need more manpower. Alright, we certainly need to reduce maintenance. 
And I think I'm actually going to keep the mercenaries for a while, because they are keeping our subjects in check. Well, basically Novgorod. They don't trust us. We have a nice diplomatic reputation. That will go down after we've annexed Mazovia. We won't be able to annex anybody else for quite a while. And they're fighting Shirvan. Who are you allied with? Bohemia and Circassia. Circassia is somewhere here. Here. Right, will we be able to actually kill you if we attack you? Let's see what their forces are. Military armies. Let's sort by total armies. Muscovy has 24,000 troops. So roughly equivalent to Lithuania, I would suppose. No, Lithuania has 18,000. Bohemia has 21, so they actually have 45,000 troops between them. Hungary has more than Bohemia, so if they join we're fine. And we and Lithuania have more than Muscovy. But the Russian winter could be problematic. If the Scandinavians, join, uh, Scandinavians joined us, it would actually be an easy fight. But if they don't, that could be a problem. So, Denmark. Mm, do you still like Muscovy? We are at 200 relations with the Livonian Order. Their liberty desire should go down significantly. It has gone down. We can recall the diplomat. See who would join us if we fought Muscovy. Uh, do you want to lose Diplo Power or lose Prestige? Actually, we want to lose Diplo Power because we need Prestige for the mission. Declare War. Yes, I know we're not at 100%. So, um, they would be joined by Bohemia and their vassals. We would be joined by Brandenburg only. Hungary has the wrong attitude, we might change that, and Denmark likes them. Well. Hungary could be enough, but without them we don't want to fight them. Okay, for now we will improve relations with Novgorod just a bit, and then we will switch the diplomat to improve relations with Hungary. How long is our truce with the Teutons? 68. Actually, we might be able to destroy the Teutonic Order before we are able to attack Muscovy. They are allied with Bohemia. We can take them. Who would join us against you? Recall the diplomat. I think Hungary would. No? Not even to fight your rival of Bohemia? And Denmark would if we didn't uh, have a truce and if they weren't fighting somebody else. Okay. So this war is going to be very easy if nothing changes on this front. Let's send a diplomat to Novgorod. What kind of republic? Merchant republic. Yeah, a lot of money. We should actually build some light ships. Why are we not doing that? We will need them to gain money from the Baltic Sea trade node. What is our naval force limit? Nine. Okay. Let's make nine trade ships. In all the provinces. Province name nine. Because nine trade ships. Okay, cool. That will take a while. After that, we can send them to protect our interests in the Baltic Sea. Which will improve our income quite a bit. Well, we won't be as rich as a merchant republic, but we can still earn quite a lot. And we can actually invest in administrative and military technologies. I would like to invest in diplomatic, because we could build, build a marketplace in all the wonderful trade provinces we have. Still, yeah, let's go for the military technology and let's go for the administrative technology as well. That actually means that if we have mm, disposable income, we can start building temples everywhere. And we will explore this possibility. Wait a minute, a peace has been signed. Right. Okay, Denmark has annexed Holstein, we don't mind. If I attacked Muscovy now, would Denmark join? Has your attitude changed? Not a bit. Okay, no attack then. For now, we will need to um, buy their time a little bit. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope, I hope you did like the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.